Norway, Sweden, Denmark, not Finland. No minimum wage. So as soon as they want to talk about Norway, let's say, all right, let's get rid of the U.S. federal minimum wage. First thing. Do you know they have no minimum wage in the Scandinavian countries? Only country that has it is Finland. How do they negotiate wages? Voluntarily with employers. So you can pay anyone whatever you want. You can pay them 50 cents an hour or a dollar an hour. The left wants to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Number two, where did Norway get all their money from? So Norway has all this money to dish out for social programs. They have the largest sovereign wealth fund in the world. Where did they get their money from? North Sea oil, nationalization of, of oil, uh, nationalization of natural resources. I thought the left wants the Green New Deal, getting rid of all of, you know, fracking is the worst thing. Fracking literally made Norway rich. Let's talk about Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark. So they have very generous welfare programs, very generous, overly generous. But they say, oh, we soak the rich. No, you don't. You soak the middle class and you, so you soak the lower class. Here's what you can ask your friend. Do you want to have a 22% sales tax? Because that's what they have in Norway, 22% sales tax. Do you know what kind of tax they have on cars? 200% tax on cars. They just lowered it to 100% tax on cars. And that was considered like a big tax cut. <laughs> Despite all of that, Denmark has actually said to Senator Sanders, stop calling us socialist. We're not socialist. So there's actually an argument where you can make, they have high taxes on the middle class. They have high taxes on working people. They have really, really they, have, they, they confiscate all the oil and then they say they hate oil, yet they have the largest sovereign wealth fund in the world. However, there's also a point to it where according to the World Economic Freedom Index, they have more economic freedom than America does, despite all of that. They're ranked four, five, six, and eight on the World Economic Freedom Index. How, you say, how's that possible? They have no minimum wage, barriers to entry, and they have far less regulation in their economy. So you should say to your friend, if socialism means deregulating the American economy so that we're more economically free than those four countries, then I don't think we're talking about the same thing, but I think I would love to be able to do that, to deregulate the American economy. Final thing is this. They're small countries. They are homogeneous, but they have traditionally the strictest immigration of any country in the world, the hardest countries to legally immigrate to. So the left says, oh, let's open all of our borders. Let's let everyone in. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, traditionally, Sweden has recently changed this. They just brought 800,000 people from the Middle East into their country, and they're having a lot of problems. Traditionally, the hardest countries to get into. But what do they not spend money on? A military. Zero dollars, basically. I mean, it's like a couple hundred million bucks, but it's nothing in the scheme of things. They, have, they spend nothing on their military. Why is that? Well, because the United States military and our budget, we have spent protecting Europe over the last 60, 70 years so that the Scandinavian countries can give out free stuff. Imagine how much money we would possibly have. Now, I think we should spend less on our defense, and I think we can be more practical about it, but we're not going to be able to spend zero. We, there are obligations where the world's benevolent superpower. There's things that are tied to that. They spend zero money on it. And so they are able to start from a base zero of saying, okay, we can give money for health care, we can give money for human services, and despite all of those things, there's a cultural difference too. And here's the best question you can ask a leftist that loves the Scandinavian countries. What is the ethos of America? What is the ethos of the Scandinavian countries? The ethos of America is aspirational excellence, taking risks, and rewarding success. This is why we have the most Nobel Prizes, the most valuable companies, the best movies, the best music. People come here to take risks and achieve that success. What is the ethos of the Scandinavian countries? No one person is better than the rest of us. It's very collectivist. Now, some people might think that's a great thing. I don't want to live in that country. I want to work harder. I want to work weekends. I want to take risks. I want to people's, make people's lives better. That's what this country is set up for. Every country can have their own cultural ethos. I'm not saying there's something wrong with that. But I would feel like I was a caged animal if I had to live in Norway, where I had to ride a bike around all the time. Why do they ride bikes? Because they have a 200% tax on cars. That's why they ride bikes all the time. Like, oh, everyone's so happy in Norway all the time. Well, look, my def first of all, they're not. That's exactly right. My definition of happiness is give me the freedom to take risks. And that's the way this country has always been set up.